Last week I went to LA again and did some filming out there. I went uh, to the 40 Acres back lot again, which is where Andy Griffith and and Gomer Pyle USMC was filmed and also uh, numerous other things, but Hogan's Heroes was filmed there. Um, I saw where Wally's gas station was and uh, I just wanted to revisit it a little bit and take a more extensive look at, at where things were uh, in today's world there. Uh, of course, none of it exists anymore, but you can still, it's still a funny feeling to, to walk around on the, the actual sets that they filmed Gone with the Wind and, and uh, where Andy Griffith and so many famous sitcoms were filmed from the 60s. Um, stick around at the, the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to show you some grave sites from some Andy Griffith uh, people that were e either uh, in Andy Griffith or associated with the Andy Griffith show. So stick around for that at the end. That's, that's kind of neat to see their grave sites. So come along with me. This is up in the Baldwin Hills of Culver City. And it's overlooking the 40 acres back lot that was used um, for the Andy Griffith show and for for uh, Tarzan. Tarzan was actually filmed on a little corner here. It actually wasn't on the 40 acres back lot, but there's an area that it was filmed at here. And it just had a jungle type atmosphere, so they used it. Uh, but then um, also, Hogan's Heroes was filmed on the 40 acres lot and and Gomer Pyle USMC along with quite a few others but Gone with the Wind was filmed there and but I'm basically interested in the sitcoms but just right down this way is is where the 40 acres back lot was and we'll go down there and take a more extensive look at it now I'm back on the 40 acres back lot where it originally was in Culver City and I'm walking down Main Street um, towards where the, the, the courthouse would have been right here and Andy's house would have been straight ahead. The uh, hotel would have been right about here. I kind of marked this stuff out on a grid so I could pinpoint exactly in a 1960s photograph of the 40 acres back lot with a current day location and I was able to grid it out by existing houses that continued on the outside edges of the 40 acres back lot. Anyway, the entrance is right there, uh, which would have been uh, the the uh, courthouse would have been right where this magnolia tree is right here. So it's kind of neat. To, I've I've done one video before about this, and I'm going to pinpoint some other areas uh, in just a second uh, where everything was located. I will, in the description um, down there, I'll put some links to the other videos from when I, I came to this area. But we'll go take a look at uh, where uh, Hogan's Heroes was filmed and uh, the area where Gomer Powell USMC was and where Wally Service Station was in this, what well, used to be the back lot. And you can see the Baldwin Scenic Overlook that's right uh, behind it and uh, in between here and that the, the Baldwin Overlook is, is where the uh, Bologna Creek is that runs down through here. Okay, I'm actually standing in an area that's probably about where the, the uh, train station and Gone with the Wind was where you saw all the, the people would have been laid out in this area. Uh, but this area 
right here where this building is and all the way down um, to the end of where these cars are and I'll walk down there in just a second is where Hogan's Heroes um, was filmed. It's where they had Starlog uh, internment camp for, for them. And, uh, but that's where all that set on there and we're looking back towards uh, the town of Mayberry right down this way. Now I'm down towards the end of um, the 40 acres back lot and uh, Bologna Creek would have run all along the back side over here. This is, would be the back side of where Hogan's Heroes was filmed. It, uh, it was a fairly large area that they used to do that. And I'll try to enclose some pictures of that. I've got some where you can actually look back and see uh, the Baldwin, Baldwin Hills scenic overlook right there. Okay, and this is where uh, Camp Henderson, the fictional base of Camp Henderson was for Gomer Powell USMC. It was right along here at Bologna Creek and uh, sat right here. The Quonset huts were set up right in this area here. That was produced by Sheldon Leonard, the same person that produced the Andy Griffith show and it was a spinoff that had Jim Neighbors in it. But right by that was also the location for Wally service station and I'll take you over here it's kind of back behind the building where that was you can see this building takes up the entire area uh, where Camp Henderson was but just on the edge over here is where where you'll see um, Wally service station um, I just find it amazing to be walking around in the area where all these famous sitcoms were filmed, even though they don't exist anymore, even though it's not here. But Wally Service Station would have set just about where this last trailer is right here. And, uh, it's kind of hidden from the town of Mayberry by a grove of trees. And there was actually an Arab village set that was built right along here. And there were train tracks here. And I think in some of the episodes of the Andy Griffith Show, uh, you'll see Barney um, chase a vagrant guy from the train tracks. And that would have been filmed right here the train tracks would have been right through here uh, this is where wally's service station set i stopped by hillside memorial gardens in uh, culver city to pay my respects to one of my favorite directors in the uh, andy griffith show and one of my favorite actors in the show too. He uh, was only in a few episodes, but he's probably one of the most memorable characters that you see in the television series. And that's Ernest T. Bass, or Howard Morris. And he's um, in a lawn crypt that's uh, here in Hillside Cemetery. You can see that on his marker itself, it says, it's me, it's me, it's Ernest T. He died in 2005. This is where he's laid to rest. This is kind of a who's who of celebrities uh, that's buried all through this, this property. Okay, I'm still at, uh, the cemetery in Culver City. 
and this is Sheldon Leonard's grave. Uh, Sheldon's one that developed, and he was an, actually an actor, um, I think in the 30s, 40s, and then he uh, started directing and producing television and maybe movies, that, but mainly television, I think. And he's buried right here. This is the guy that developed the Andy Griffith Show. Sheldon Leonard. You hear Andy Griffith talk about him a lot when you when there's interviews going on. And Sheldon Leonard's the one that decided to hire Don Knotts as Barney Fife. So he's the one that kind of put everything into action as far as the Andy Griffith show goes. Well, I'm at uh, Woodlawn Cemetery in uh, Santa Monica. And I just wanted to stop and pay my respects to a guy that's brought me a bunch of laughter from the Andy Griffith Show, and that would be Otis, or Hal Smith. Uh, he died in 1994 and was buried here in the mausoleum. Uh, it's in, on the first floor as you come into the mausoleum. Uh, this is a fairly small cemetery. So as you come into the mausoleum, just walk all the way back to the very back and go to your left and he, he's on the left at the very back the back of the cemetery or the mausoleum doors right here so this is where Otis is buried it looks like his son is here too and his his wife I don't know those things must be three deep I guess yeah I guess that's the way it's set up I just, just left the mausoleum where Otis is buried and wandered just right outside and found Barbara Billingsley's grave. She was June Cleaver in Leave it to Beaver. I uh, always loved that show too. So this is where she's laid to rest. She was 95 years old when she died. So... Thank you so much for watching.